It's Bangladesh taking on South Africa in the first test match in the Dutch Bangla Bank series. So I thought they put up a, a fight, really good fight, but uh, I still feel 81 runs ahead. I still feel if they can get them across, maybe, maybe just 200, the such an advantage for Bangladesh. Because uh, at the moment they have three wickets in hand. You, you see that uh, total 283 for 781 ahead. But Miraj will probably have to think whether he should go and uh, play a few more shots or not. We'll have to wait and see. Yesterday was certainly a day for scrapping. Bangladesh did just that. All their batters that walk to the wicket, even Naeem. I just want to focus a little bit, Atta, on that on that partnership uh, between Jakar Ali and, and, and Mahedi. Atta, Sean mentions that new ball. How do you want to see Bangladesh combat that new ball this morning? Not to lose wickets. Mehdi Hassan Miraj on 87 and Naeem Hassan on 16 have built up a partnership of 33. They just want to go down there initially. And I think with the steamy conditions, as you mentioned, they might just be able to swing in the air as well. It'll be fascinating to see how this new ball performs. Mehdi Hassan Mirage, he has been the standout. He is the one who has given Bangladesh a little bit of hope. They'll be hoping that he can do more of the same here on day four. Anything that they can put together. First target, I think, would be to get over 100. And then all of a sudden, psychologically, that just seems like a little bit more. I'll try and post everything they possibly can. Atali said uh, he wants him to survive. I would like him to kind of mix it up with survival plus a little bit of aggression. I think they have to try and find options to score. I believe if they sit there for 10 overs and just try and uh, occupy the crease, they'll probably get that one misbehaves and maybe get knocked over. Partnership is 33. What can they add today? And they've got a new red cherry in hand. The new ball has been taken. There it is. Takisa Rabada. He's got the channel, but he wants to keep it a little tighter and try to move it away. Media San Mirage will be very, very careful. Just drifting down leg side. Well, did it get a bit of bat and pad and pass that forward short leg fielder? Leg buys, I suspect. It wasn't much from the bowling department. I thought it might have got a little scratch onto the, the thigh pad. We saw him take a brilliant catch. Earlier on in this test match, in a similar position, Tony Dezorzi. Oh, right on the money, that kept low. And he's uh, taken that the prize cup. Just kept it head low, couldn't uh, put it down. Naeem Hassan has to walk back. That's a five-wicket, another five-wicket haul for Kakisa Rabada. Just the three deliveries with the new ball. Naeem wasn't keen on getting onto that front foot. He was just wanting to have a look and see what maybe Rabada had up his sleeve. And he got caught in the crease. You can see his front foot. It barely moves from there. And once it hits the back leg, we also talked about the odd delivery might stay low. That hasn't bounced prodigiously. And what a brilliant start for the South Africans. Kisa Rabada, their premier strike bowler, has got them started again. Naeem Hassan, he goes for 16, 284 for 8. Nicely behind, calls for the run, gets the response, and brings Media San Miraj on strike. Polly, now what does... Mirage too, because he's lost his overnight partner into the tail. What will be the way he goes about it? Yes, yes. Well, just pack of length, sort of reared up, but uh, rode that quite nice, nicely. Medias and Mirage has to trust the batting of his new partner, Tajul Islam, now. Nicely played away, past the feeler. And the ball is just going to be holed in. That's good effort in the deep. The outfield a little sluggish at the moment because of the overnight and early morning rain. But that's uh, good effort. They're going to have a look at uh, whether it's gone to the boundary. Pitches it up, moves away, gets a nice part of the bat on that. A full flourish and it off it goes to the boundary. I think this has got to do with mindset. Hedy Mirage, who would have been in the mindset of, hey, you know what, I reckon I'm going to cash in on a loosener here. Because his foot was nowhere near it, but he recognized the length and he rolled those wrists beautifully. He almost played a little bit of a topspin fashion to make sure that he didn't edge it through to the, the slip cordon. Oh, nice. Crush that away back with a point. Who has decided to go after it? There's a bit of doubt. Looking up to see who he's going to go after. But uh, two good-looking runs once again. Man who spent as much time at the crease as Moraes has is... 
Oh, once again, Witt off it. Once again, he's played it comfortably. And he ambles the single. Gets to 95. I think this is Vian Milder's first over from the, the gallery end. So. Oh, that was uh, pretty close. That was in the air for a while. Was not in absolute control of that. Looked like he was perfectly placed, did it, Kerry? The other interesting thing is Moraz deciding to turn down the single. So we were talking about whether he trusts Taijul or not. Bounced steeply off the thigh pad again, and I think that one did carry. It was a difficult one, but the Zorzi will be disappointed because if you get that wicket, you basically... Oh, it's fishing. He's got it to come in. The last one, the, very, the, the one next, just evading that off... Uh, the, the side offside of the bat. Heard a little something as we went past. I doesn't think it was the outside edge, but there was just a little bit of noise. I don't know if it was him scratching his feet or. And he's straighter, and so is uh, Matthias and Mirage. Maybe not from the meaty part of the bat. That's the lack of timing, but it's got him uh, two more runs. Two more runs nearing nearer to that century. With him turning down, uh, that was a no ball as. Oh, the ball, that Jack Parkin. Hands go up in appeal, but they feel there might have been a bit of bad, and also it seems to be sliding down leg. Rabada kind of joined in the appeal. They were very excited behind the stumps to keep a Verena in the slip cordon. Don't have a review, but I think that's too high. It's hit him above the roll, so at best it was probably just a little bit of a clippage. No reviews left. Oh, now, are they going to appeal? Doesn't seem too convinced. Looks up inquiringly, but eventually the over has been completed. It's 299 for eight. Tajul cuts that, cuts that very comfortably. Wonderful looking shot back at a point straight to the boundary. Brings up the 300 for Bangladesh. And uh, the first two deliveries that he bowled in the last over, Mulder, to Tajal, he slid them down the leg side. And he was obviously very conscious in this first ball of the over to make sure he didn't do the same. But just offered up some width. I just believe that over the wicket is going to be the better. Oh, gone. He got a bit of bat to that, that angle. It was uh, closer this time around. Tajal Islam gets uh, quite a hefty edge to that one. And it's uh, comfortably taken there by Stubbs. And another wicket down for Bangladesh. Better angle for sure. And we talked about maybe being stranded. Well, he needs to survive at least three deliveries. But that was much better from Mulder. On the angle, looks like it's going to shape back in. Gets him to play it. And as it pitches, it just nips away. Good take there by Tristan Stubbs. And Mulder has his first of the second innings. South Africa have their ninth. 303 for nine. Tajal Islam, he goes for seven. Oh, that was honing in, but it's got quite a, the turn of the bat on it. One's enough. There was opportunity for two. He's not going to take that. I think what he does in the next delivery, we're going to work out his mindset. Shuffles across. Goodness gracious. He went for a hoik and there's an appeal. Umpire does not respond. I think it's off his shoulder. He changes his game plan. South Africa don't have any reviews. They can't even send it upstairs. The last over. Tries to hoik it away. Mm. Seems to have got a shoulder. Did it get a bit of bat prior to that? It's good delivery by Mulder. That actually stood up quite steeply. And wonderful movement again by Tristan Stubbs. Convinced. Nice. Easily flowing into that one. Gone back for two, and he's going to get back comfortably for three. That's exactly the plan. They've got three runs plus Mirage back on strike. Perfectly done. Oh, again, uh, he's appealing for a ball, possibly hitting a part of his body. He's swiveling around, not making it comfortable. I think this is going to be a sore one. He's not rubbing it. He's not showing much emotion. But there's no doubt that his brain is just slightly scrambled at this stage. He's, he's, he's not in his comfort zone. He's not 100% sure how he should or shouldn't be playing this. 
You wouldn't begrudge him just picking up another three runs. He really has deserved it. He's been superb. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Tried to guide it through the slips and uh, it couldn't put it down. It was straight in the hands. And a brilliant innings ends for this young man, Media San Mirage. But what a good catch taken there. Yeah, how disappointing. He really did deserve that three-figure score. He changed his game plan in the last 10 or so deliveries. And this one, he just tried to give himself room, almost planning to play a one-day shot where he ramps it over the infield. And all he could do is slip catching practice. And it's that man, Vian Milder, who grabs it this time. Rabat ends up with six. The Premier Strike Bowler has done a brilliant job here again for his country. And it's 106 runs that will be required by South Africa now to win the test match. They fought hard. Well done. And it's given Bangladesh just that glimmer of hope with that uh, 106 runs lead. Well, that is the batting of Bangladesh. Rather, uh, you know, early stages, they've always uh, faltered. It's only Mahmoud al Hassan, Joy, 40, and then the wickets fell. Yeah, the bulk of the runs have come from seven and below in this test match for both teams. Mirage was brilliant with his 97. Partnerships wise, we can see some decent ones. Mamadoul, 307. They match what South Africa did in their first innings, actually leaving them with 106 to require, is, which is what Bangladesh got in their first innings. There's the bowling wise. And Pete struggled a little bit for rhythm. There's Nort for 95 and Markham, who bowled in the bad light last evening. Well, it's been a morning where but this is the standing at the moment. 106 posted by Bangladesh. South Africa doing well to Varen is 114 to take a 202 runs lead. Bangladesh could uh, eventually manage 307 runs. And South Africa need 106 runs to win. So South Africa will need 106 runs to win this opening test match. Ed is an absolute superstar. And we'll hold on to those world records for as long as we can. As you say, to draw first blood in this test match series. Here we go. New ball, new ball critical. Oh, they got one. Surely. Dezorzi's unmoved. So is the umpire. It's just whether Shanto decides to go upstairs. No, no. Markram's away. Markram's away with a boundary. Sure is, and so is South Africa. Take four off that uh, tricky target of 106. And Markram will be really happy to get this first up. Low full toss. Out the middle of the bat. Not the, t the start that Taiju will have wanted. He's looking to score. He's looking to be aggressive. Aiden Markram. So this is the quality of an Aiden Markram before he sort of hits it a little bit too hard and finds the fielder. Now when you look at this boundary, look at the slight adjustment there just to beat the fielder on the right side. And so just had to wait a little bit more, a fraction, and then just open the face. Just slides on. Now the appeal is whether the ball hit the pad first, but I don't think so. Where's this hit him? Like I said, he's staying very leg side. Straightens. Mm, bat involved there. What a delivery this is. From around the wicket, that is about perfect. This is some ball. This also gives you a bit of an insight into the talent that Bangladesh have here. I really, really enjoy this young man. It's a bit of a wobble seam delivery. It hits the surface and there it just straightens. Gosh, that's a good one. That's sending a message to DeSorzi. Beaten again. The new ball was always going to be tough. Yeah. 
Very economical. Lovely. Just here, look at that wrist. Flick through. You can just ISO that wrist. You can just see the effort that he puts in there. And that's where he just gets that little bit of zip, a little bit of extra pace, and late movement. Have a look at that wrist. Yes, at the point of delivery. Just look at that snap. That's good running from Markram. Not sure DeZorzi was that interested in it, but Markram was quick off the mark there. He can beat left-handers. And he can beat right-handers. That is a brilliant over. Nine without loss. And this is what's key, is that if there is a loose delivery that's bold, you need to put it away. So far, there's been three loose ones. South Africa put all three away. Yeah, to jump all over them. Opportunity presents itself. Take it. Probably wanted to play this a little bit more on the on side, but gets it down the ground. This outfield, even though with a little bit of rain, is still very quick. And they'll feel as though they uh, that they're near, nearly home. Those last 50 runs will go pretty quickly, but if you find yourself 50 for three, 50 for four, oh, I tell you what, see that it doesn't turn; it just goes straight on with the angle. Aggressive. There's no doubt that there's intent. This is what's been spoken about in the South African dressing room before they walked out. Yeah, beautiful intent. Wonderful intent here by DeZorzi. Was beating the ball before on the outside edge. But it's just the flight and the fullness of the delivery. Once he sees it and he continues to get big on him, he trusts himself to hit it down the ground emphatically. Bold, but very well played. There's just a little bit of movement away from Markram there, and the temptation for a batter is to try and shape to hit that through the leg side when he sees the angle. But he stays nice and straight. That's beautifully played. Favorite area of his through the offside, back with a square. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, he has played well, uh, Mulder. His contributions have uh, been uh, really key in this test match. Of a play and miss outside the line of all stumps. He's the, the width. Again, he's got to put these performances in because South Africa have uh, two home test match series against Sri Lanka and uh, Pakistan. Marco Janssen is fit again. Home conditions. First test match against uh, Sri Lanka's in Durban. Could be a couple here. Just the defensive push. Moving along nicely here, uh, South Africa. Becomes a bit tighter. The kiss outside edge, and uh, that might just run away for four. Uh, so when it's out there, yeah, you know, he'll he'll pounce all over. This is. Maybe some fortunate runs. Pick outside edge, you'll pick up four. It's just when the, the left arm spinner sort of angled the ball in to around that off stump region. With this technique of staying, you can see quite leg side of the ball. Exposes the stumps to some degree, and that technique, wanting to free up the off side. If one stays low, if there's just natural variation. Oh! I think I think the key to this thick outside edge here, it is it's where he Edged and short. He didn't push at the ball to Zorzi. So the ball didn't carry. 24 without loss. And 
falls short. Doesn't push at it, lets the ball come to him. Ah! Oh, there's a shot, and given, and given. Umpire Joel Wilson says that is adjacent. Markram immediately goes upstairs. Front hand coming up, Joe. That ball is close to the bat. Let's get Alter Edge to confirm bat or no bat. Copy, building Alter Edge. Forward, forward. There's a spike when the ball is under the bat and passing the bat, so you'll have to overturn your original decision, Joel. Stand by. You're on screen, signal now. It was only a faint one. Ever so faint. Yeah, spot on. He was uh, looking at the face of the bat and the edge of the inside edge of that bat of his and was not convinced. And he thought there, well, I think I've got a bit of a scratch there and I will go up. Just, I don't want to question the stroke because it's proved to be a very effective stroke over the course of the test match, the sweep. But Markram must surely be... Shot. Nice. Much easier for the left-hander against the left-arm spin when the ball is outside the off-stump to play that stroke. 29 without loss. Up and over. Boundary for skipper Markram. A very good morning to all our viewers and also Atar Ali Khan. Morning, Maza. Morning, everyone. Uh, yeah, I thought he's bowled well. He's in his uh, fifth over. Yes, this was short and wide, so gets the treatment, not from the middle part of the bat, so intentionally up and over in the third area. Really don't have uh, much to bowl at because of the fact that you're only trying to do, they have, uh, what, 73 runs more to go and... Uh... Good start for South Africa. Very good start. And in the air for a while, it's Ozzy with Kela single. A Dutch Bangla Bank series between Bangladesh and South Africa. Really doesn't uh, give uh, anything uh, to the team's cause. Lovely shot, just off the boot of the bowler. Ricocheting and uh, allows the batters to uh, pick up a single. And it is. It is a major concern, major concern for Bangladesh, major concern for the... Nicely played. Sun batting first. It was a good toss to lose for South Africa. I don't think so, because if you heard the opposition captain, uh, Mark Crump also mentioned that he would have... I'll go uh, to the boundary, nicely uh, played the, the reverse. And uh, when you see those dismissal uh, from the top order, that's a disappointing part. That's, this is a lovely shot. Look how quickly he adapt and adjust and uh, plays the reverse. He knew the line and the length. Lovely. Rightly pointed out, Bangladesh has been struggling with the bat game nice sharp turn yes it's important for bangladesh to make sure they don't lose early wickets up front most of the times even in this test match we have seen the trend of losing early wickets ball them through the gate of aiden markram taijul strikes for bangladesh is it too late? He has been the pick of the bowler, Taijul Islam. And he picks up another one, the one that uh, goes straight on with the arm. Lovely delivery. He squeezes through between bat and pad and rattles the stump. Skipper departs. 
for 20 of 27. South Africa 42 for one. And it's string stuff. The confidence was low. He's, he's played that nicely, actually. He was uh, kept a little bit low, but that is uh, gone to the boundary, raised to the boundary, really nicely struck by uh, Zosie. Nicely adjusted by De Zosie. There was a bit of... I know we're talking about uh, just uh, how uh, the top orders handle themselves. Glimpses of hope there, if you look at that. Again, too short. And this time, the right-hander stops, puts it away for a boundary to finish the over. 50 on the board. And the Zorzi. What a shot. Came down the track. Straight as an arrow. They want to finish it uh, quickly here. Yeah, that 565, the highest total against Pakistan. Oh, lovely. Really good piece of timing. Order. In fact, Bangladesh lost their first three or more wickets inside 50 runs 16 times on the last down the wicket again. And he sits. So he's coming back for the second. And just for a moment, I thought that India, they were thinking that the ball would cross over for a boundary. Five. So. Ranani, how did he bat? Six wickets down when he came in, uh, when that partnership happened between him and Mulder. And it, it, it is a test, isn't it? it, it oh. Oh. Came in sharply. Still, that may they develop in the recent times. And I still wonder, after the way Bangladesh played in Pakistan, Seema's picking up wickets, batter scoring runs. Maybe we should give them more exposure. We can bank on them in the recent times if the Bangladesh team can. Would have been a good choice for bold. But it again falls back uh, to the batters. I think that's, uh, that's where the issue is. And uh, you can only uh, talk to the players in the team meeting. Good shot. It almost didn't seem like it was short enough, but he was into position quickly, was De Zorzi. And that uh, cross bat shot. Looks a little bit awkward, actually, at times when he plays it, sometimes even against the faster bowlers, but very effective. Catch it. I don't think they'd be convinced about the way they've played spin at times, not 100% convinced. But I think hitting to Chittagong, or Chattagong, as it's now called, we might actually see two very different 11s when we go to uh, to Chattagram. This one just beats the outside edge. Can't imagine that Bangladesh will go in with just the one seamer, and I don't think South Africa would go in with just the one and the all-rounder. Lovely use of the feet. As soon as he catches on the full toss, it's easy. He just has to open the face and push it away. The initial work to use the feet was the important bit. 71 for one. A chance in the deep, a chance in the deep, and De Zorzi has given it away. No, no, no. He will be immensely disappointed with this. It looked like he was looking to give himself a little bit of room so he could whack it over the offside, and then once it pitches, he just drags it. There's a man back there. Yeah, I definitely think so. You can see how the bat turns in his hands, and as he looks up there, he will be thinking, oh, no, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't picked out Hassan, have I? I have indeed. And now he has to head back to the dressing room. He goes for 41. He had a 50 for the taking. 71 for two. Maybe when you see that type of delivery. Yeah, it's always difficult, isn't it? When you walk to that crease, the new batter, the foreign conditions. You don't play on these every day. You play in South Africa. You play on the county circuit. It's not always gripping and turning from the first delivery that you receive. 
runs back and level the series. Nasty work to air, just single. Two types of leaves, good ones and bad ones. 72 for two. Good leave or bad leave, Sean? Turns out to be an excellent one at the end. I think it goes over the top of the stumps, to be honest. It means that you're not 100% 100 convincing and uh, secure in the way you're picking them. And we'll just let him one. That shot he plays very well. He's going to get a boundary here. Yeah, the brilliance of it is actually the adjustment because he was getting in position to maybe paddle it fine, but on the angle, the ball was hitting well down the leg side. Oh, there you go. The invitation was just too much not to accept. Yeah, nicely played. It was actually just the speed of what he got out of the crease and how quickly he got somewhere near the pitch of the ball. And once he was there, he just believed he could just follow through. It's come nicely off the middle. He's gone the whole way. He's got himself to 20 of 17 deliveries. So he's looking to finish this in a rush, just Tristan Stubbs. They might have to run these. Get three. At this stage, too, that you're only human as a... A batsman in the test arena. I do think we'll see some changes. What about what about South Africa? Just the one spinner, and then with some more seamers, or do you think being in two more? up and over long off and all the way just slightly over pitched you got to love the confidence you do get the feeling that you've seen a couple of these kind of deliveries on the county circuit over the years this uh, didn't really have much on it he's not the tallest individual just slides it in there gives it air 75 kilometers per hour and Benham's eyes just lit up he thought well, there you go there's six more test runs for I must have been, I really enjoy the way that, that South Africa have actually gone about this. Let's not look to survive. And so, good preparation from that perspective. Polly, they're sneaking under the radar, this group, though. That World Test Championship is not out of their reach. I know that they're a name that hasn't been mentioned, but prevent them from being at the time. Ah! Oh, there's a little edge. Yes, there is. The finger goes up. Bedden majorly disappointed. It's just a little bit of a feather. Someone always gets a good one. And that's what David Beddingham has to say when he heads into that change room, is that I got a good delivery. Tajal has been the pick of the spinners throughout the test match for Bangladesh. And that is just a feather. The perfect left arm orthodox dismissal pitches on forces betting him to play and just feathers the outside edge now betting him going for 12 south africa have lost their third but they still need nine to win that one he squirts behind square and with his outfield that's going to be enough to get it away let's get it on Matthew Bretzka waits in anticipation. This just skips on to him. Just wonder whether Shanto should have continued with Mom. I don't think Bretzky's think, sitting there thinking, I actually wouldn't mind getting in just to get a run because he might not play the next test match. What happens you hit the winning runs and you tell the grandchildren one day, I hit the winning runs in the test match against Bangladesh. The problem is the grandchildren know how to. Yeah. 
two away. And Tristan Stubbs will have the strike. South Africa, 104 for three. It's been an impressive performance from the South Africans, though. They were at the wrong end of the toss of the coin, but they bowled beautifully. And Mulder and Verena were absolutely superb, particular the wicketkeeper Carl Verena with the way he swept, reverse swept. Yeah, I think Rabada and Verena will take the headlines from a Safran performance. They're very vital. How long does Stubbs wait? They were given a little bit of a scare, South Africa, as uh, Bangladesh built a lead. This might be it. Stubbs will scamper through. And South Africa will win the first test match. And they will win it by seven wickets. That's a good performance on a surface that doesn't necessarily suit South African batters. But they applied themselves well with bat in hand. They bowled quite beautifully. And they will head to Chattagram 1-0 up. Very good performance by the South Africans having lost the toss. Put into the field first to bowl Bangladesh out for 106. And then compile a decent first inning score. They, they dictated terms on the first two days. They were asked a few questions and Bangladesh showed some character on day three. But you always did think it was just going to be too far for them to really be competitive. Set South Africa 106 to win. And convincingly in the end, South Africa get over the line and smiles on the faces. And so there should be first subcontinent test victory in 10 years. Paul Simmons, unfortunately for him, he starts his tenure as the, as the interim coach. We'll call him the interim coach for now because he's only taking this team to the uh, Champions Trophy, which will be played in, in Pakistan early next year. But he is a quality coach, but he starts his tenure with a loss. Well, it was 106 they had to chase down. It was a good start. They got to 42 before losing the first wicket. Azorzi was impressive for his 41. Markram managed to get to 20. Stubbs came in at number three, and he was there at the end, 30 of 37. Fadinam will be disappointed that he got out so late in the piece with just nine runs required for victory. Rickleton, just those three deliveries. Tajul, the left arm spinner, three for 43 in his uh, 11 overs. He was the pick of the bowlers in the first innings for Bangladesh. He's the pick of them in the second. But unfortunately, they just didn't have many to defend. Well, it was a... To steal the words of the South African captain, Aidan Markram, all the damage was done in the first innings. Bangladesh dismissed for 106 in South Africa accumulating a lead of 202. Bangladesh scrapped well in their second innings, particularly Miraz with his 97. Unfortunate not to get a second test century, but in the end, South Africa cruised over the line and win this first test match by seven wickets. So a couple of days off now for, uh, for the players. And then on the 29th of October, they do battle again, this time in Chattagram for the second test match in this Dutch Bangla Bank series. So, we hope you've enjoyed the coverage from all of us here in Mirpur. It's a very good... For more updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Download T-Sports app to enjoy exciting games and highlights. Visit tsports.com